Joining us now to discuss the BTC markets is Tactive Wealth Advisor, Eddie Gifford. Eddie, thanks for joining us this afternoon. So you say the big question still out there is whether FTX is the first of many dominoes to fall. Perhaps you could take a stab at your own question. Yeah, I think that, you know, uh, when you see something like this happen, especially uh, given the magnitude of what's been going on, it makes you wonder how many other companies could have potentially been doing this, running the company afoul, uh, you know, basically committing fraud. Uh, and so the, the question then becomes, uh, are there a lot of other exchanges that did this? And if not, that's fantastic. But that there's rarely just one. And so if more continue to fall, well, we could see uh, quite the uh, implosion of, I would say, the altcoins. Uh, but the advantage, I think, in this scenario is that the foundation of digital assets, which is Bitcoin, is going to be the front runner on the back end of all of this. So uh, if, if anyone's considering investing in anything, digital asset or uh, cryptocurrency, wise, I would say that Bitcoin is probably the, the place to start for sure. Okay. Now you mentioned further contagion effects uh, at other crypto exchanges. You know, the pressure is on Binance right now. Uh, we mentioned that Joe uh, Johnson, the brother of Boris Johnson, the former prime minister of the UK, is stepping down as advisor to Binance. We also have learned that Mazars, an accounting firm that previously had a, uh, an, a, a posted an accounting of Binance's reserves has taken that down. Uh, CZ has appeared on media. Some people are questioning the transparency of CZ and, and Binance. Is Binance the next to fall or uh, do you have other uh, entities uh, to name? Bi uh, Binance is definitely the target right now. That's the one that everyone's paying attention to. Um, obviously, we've heard a little bit about crypto.com too, and and so it's uh, one of those things where you, you see things happening and, and you see what, what happened with FTX, and it's almost like, okay, we can't trust them until they prove that we can trust them now. Uh, so it, it completely flips the coin in the other direction, and then when you see an accounting firm uh, make adjustments and when you see leadership start to exit, those are definitely red flags. Uh, don't know if, uh, if, if uh, Binance will be next. But they're definitely the target that seems like if, if, the, if the next one to fold is Binance, it would not be surprising, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. What's your advice to clients that are now holding BTC at the moment or looking for an entry point to buy? I wouldn't uh, run away from it. Like if you're holding it right now, I wouldn't say, oh, you have to sell it. Uh, I think that uh, it's still holding pretty strong at the 16.5 number. I do think that if it uh, continues to, to fall and, and uh, holds below 16, we go to 12 or even less. Uh, so if, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm investing in, in Bitcoin right now, I'm probably trading it. I'm, I'm probably looking for uh, opportunities. Uh, I, would, I would be holding for now. Uh, I would sell at 16. I'd probably buy if it hit a, in the, the 10 to 12 mark. But if I'm looking at it long term and just thinking like, hey, I really believe in, in blockchain technology in general. I really believe in Bitcoin. Then what I'm doing in this scenario is I'm, I'm going to be dollar cost averaging uh, through um, February of 2024. Uh, just basically taking the next uh, 14, 15 months, putting a little bit in every single month over that time period. So I'm fully invested prior to the next halving in Bitcoin. And I think that a lot of stuff is gonna shake itself out over the next 12 to 18 months. And uh, I would say that we're, we're closer to a bottom than we are, uh, the, the, uh, definitely than we were six months ago. And so, you know, you, you never know when the bottom occurs. Uh, you always see all the signs after the fact. And so, uh, there's nothing wrong with kind of like sliding there over the next uh, six to 12 months to kind of take advantage of a volatile market and give yourself some really good uh, pricing heading into the recovery. In our chart of the day, we mentioned that market makers are increasing their share of crypto options trading volumes. What does that mean in terms of sentiment in the market right now? It's just a lot of players hedging bets. Yeah, I think there's a lot of fear, like in every market right now. It's not just the crypto space; it's the uh, stock market. Uh, you're seeing the, you know, the Fed recently 
raise rates again. And, and I don't know if you qualify their language as a pivot. You know, uh, the, everyone uh, always speaks of a pivot as the Fed beginning to lower interest rates. But the Fed had told us that they are going to raise and they're going to remain stable and they were only going to go to a certain level. And at the last meeting, they said, oh, well, we might be going above that level. So um, if that qualifies as a pivot, that's kind of dangerous, generally speaking, because pivots are, are, are generally fall, uh, followed by collapses. And uh, that's uh, not exclusive to one market or another. Everything seems to be a falling knife in that scenario. So I think that there's definitely a lot of hedging going on. I think there's a lot of people that are kind of scared and concerned. And, and a lot of people uh, would rather kind of sit on the sidelines right now. It doesn't mean there's not opportunities. It just means that you have to be super sensitive in, in what you're doing and, and, and have a plan before you execute. Eddie, before we leave, any predictions for 2023? I would say first half of the year is probably going to be rough. Uh, so uh, hold on. Uh, the ride's not over, uh, but there's going to be some really good opportunities. So pay attention. Uh, don't run. We're closer to a bottom than uh, a top, that's for sure. And we, we want to uh, take advantage of that. So whether it's dollar cost averaging or, or technical analysis, have a plan, stick to the plan. And, and three to five years from now, you're going to be happy. All right. Buy the ticket, take the ride. Eddie, thanks so much for joining us. That was Tactive Wealth Advisor, Eddie Gifford.